wrap up this month, I sincerely want to express my gratitude to you. I respect your time, I respect your journey, and I truly believe in your greatness. As cheesy as that may seem, it's the truth. So let's get into it. Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host, and welcome to The Lone Doctrine. I am your weekly dose of constructive food for thought. This month, we've talked about the subject which I myself am still learning to push through. I've always had a tendency to hold on to hurt from my past. I had yet to understand why someone or something could be so against me, but I too listen to these podcasts. It's one thing in speaking progress and another in actually taking action. Each and every day, I decide to take action. Is it always easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Some days the past haunts me, but it's then and there that I'm given a clear sign of opportunity, the opportunity of growth. I would rather grow than live in misery, wouldn't you? It's time to stop letting the darkness from your past cloud the present. What's done is done. The past can rob you of the energy you need to move forward. There's a whole world of betterment waiting on your arrival here and now. You might be thinking or feeling that letting go of the past is forgetting about the past or forgetting about a person or an event you were emotionally attached to, some of which may seem impossible to let go. It may seem like if you let go, you're letting who or what has done you wrong in the past get away with it or you'll forget a lost loved one, or that you'll never get justice. It's quite the opposite. It's finding purpose and peace of mind to go forward, either in constructive resolutions, living in honor of a loved one, or standing strong on the right side of history. Or respectively, whatever your situation may be, there's one thing I've always been told. Life happens for you, not to you. In those events such as tragedy, loss, illness, we can find peace in creating purpose. I've had to find a lot of purpose and peace in many scenarios in my life, some of which are me losing count to loved ones and friends I've lost from alcohol and drugs, to losing a family member in a tragic car accident, to losing my grandparents, and as of recently, having two family members diagnosed with cancer. I have had to find the peace, and I've had to create purpose. Challenges are inevitable. This scale varies from life to life, but all in all, I had to find peace within the madness. Letting go of your past is a work in progress. Some events may take longer than others, but we have to begin the journey with one step at a time. So I hope in this journey I can support you because I can say first and foremost how hard it can be sometimes to live through and find purpose in such hard past times. But it is possible. So what are you holding on to that's holding you back? What's the first step going to be in letting go? It really is up to you. I want you to think long and hard and realize that you're worth it. Your life is worth it. And trust me, no matter how hard it gets, you can find peace. And I'm here to remind you of that. And I believe you're really hearing this right here and right now for a reason. And I can say now that finding a purpose has given me peace. So keep going, even if it's one small step at a time. Here at The Lone Doctrine, we can't express our gratitude enough to all our listeners. We truly hope you are being inspired by what we have to give. As we grow in our passionate pursuit of betterment, we could really use your support to stay up and running. If you're finding that these tools are helping you, if you're finding that it's opening up your mind to so much food for thought and you've wanted to share it with others, 
visit LoanDoctrine.com where we've partnered up with Patreon. If you click the Patreon button, it allows creators to keep creating. And hopefully one of the creators you'll support is the Lone Doctrine. Our mission is to provide constructive food for thought for you to make today better than yesterday. So thank you for your support in us and an extra special thank you for our current Patreons. Today and every day, keep fighting the good fight. <laughs>